So this morning we are off to the Cars and Coffee event at Race Parts Melbourne. We're just heading through the lovely uh, Melbourne suburb of Sunshine on our way to Point Cook. We've been to a few of these Cars and Coffee type events. Pro Street Media are going to be there as well. Those guys have been doing a great job of um, promoting the uh, car meetups and that sort of thing over the summer period. We're here at Race Parts Melbourne in Point Cook now. It is absolutely packed. I swear there's at least 500 cars here. Wall to wall, both sides, the end of the street. We're gonna go for a little look and see what's here. First car though, SV5000, twin throttle. Don't see too many of these on the road anymore. A bit like the VN Group A, they sort of disappeared. Bit of a well-known VL, this one. Been around for years. Every time you see it, it is immaculate. Jordi, you must be about to rub one out over this car. Is this like your idle car or what? This was the car, I remember they were 45 grand and went, they're way too expensive. 10 grand more than a normal Evo 6 at the time. They're kidding themselves. Now what are they worth? This is probably one car though, you probably don't want to molest you. Nah. This is the colour on this Mustang. That is one nice looking fastback. The colours are sensational. I swear, I, I reckon there's got to be at least 200 VLs here today and I'd say 95% of them are probably eight second cars. Out of control. You're seeing this, com uh, this conversion a lot in um, first gen Com Commodores, like e either an LS or a Holden engine with a, like a Harrop style top mount charger in it. Awesome combo for the street. Mega responsive, you've got torque everywhere. One of my favourite power bands in a, in a street car, you know, there's no lag, very predictable power. That's a, that's a nice looking engine bay. Not something you see too common now on the old single cam RB30, the actual original manifolds. For people who aren't too common with these engines, this is what they're supposed to look like. <laughs> I like how they've done that, they've, you've got the wastegate there, but how nice is the heat shield? You've got the screamer pipe on the back there, stock inlet manifold. So let's check out John's uh, blue VL Calais here. He's had this car a few times. It's got a new combo in it. 3.2 billet engine, Garrett G57 turbo. This is gonna be a six second car all day long. Take your pick of the VLs here. Left, right and center. So what do you got here, Jordan? Three street cars in a row or what? Take your pick. I love this blue one. This one's pretty serious, billet block. Look, you got external uh, oil pump. This is a dry sump, it looks like. That's the headers on. As you can see, this place is uh, out of control. There's no parking. Cars keep coming in. $500 para, mate. 500 2K? bucks? Mate, 500 bucks for the whole car. All I had to do is put a motor in. That's four 2Ks. Yeah, mate. Five, genuine $500 barra. Good thing about this event here today, there is a bit of everything. There's Aussie, Aussie muscle, there's Japanese cars, a bit of a camp, camp shaft in this one. Speaking of camp shafts, listen to the chop. The RB chop on this one. Oh, look at this, this is a bit of a well known barrow, this one. Hello, how are you going? How 
how good's this, man? This is like um, it's like Acropolis. Is, now. I was going to say this is like Acropolis is now, circa Acropolis now HQ. I reckon this is like 1993 spec build. This one. How good are those center lines? I don't even think you can buy them anymore. Yeah. Look at that nice photo there, the the Monaro and the Ford together, red versus blue right here. This would have to be the biggest cars and coffee meet uh, we've ever been to, I'd say. We shot this car a few weeks ago at Heathcote running 8.0. As you can see, 100% street car. 170 miles an hour. 173 hour, miles an hour, I think. How nice is this black club Do you, uh, do you like in? those oversized walkies? I don't mind. I think it works all right on the black. You can get away with the big wheels on, an, on a late model car like that. But you, you put these on a first gen Commodore, they look a bit ridiculous. Looks, it looks like a steamroller. Would you believe that rear tyre is only a 245? It's a 245 22 inch rim. I'm running a 245 on my MR2. Look, I've got a 245 on a Toyota oh, Yaris. The rolling diamond is ridiculous, yeah. I don't mind them, I reckon they, they suit it. Although you'd, you'd have to feel the bumps a bit, wouldn't you, with such thin tyres. Have a look at the calibre of cars in this court here. And this goes up to half a kilometre up look, there. we've only seen about 10% of this 10 car. 10% of right? the cars here, I reckon. Look, look at this one here, look. All I can see, every, every second car's got drag radials on it. Just uh, street cars for days, yeah. Have a look at this coupe. That is sick. That is unreal. How's the interior? It's pretty low in the back. That's a build and a half, isn't it? It's a good build. It's funny how um, fashion trends go in and out. Like 15 years ago, it was very common to see a one color bright interior, then it sort of goes out of fashion, then it comes back in. It's the Hack Shop Garage Fairlane. If you haven't seen this, guys, check them out on YouTube. Hack Shop Garage, great channel. Easy to watch, good videos. So look at the stance on this FG, Jordo. FG Jet X. This is uh, Melbourne Street Scene 101 here. If you haven't seen it already, we've got a pretty wide variety of 1990s retro merch t-shirts and one of them is the VRVS Clubby GDS, I don't know, I'm going to get grilled in here. I can never tell the difference between half these models. It's either a 185 powerhouse or the Barnstorming 215, yeah? People are starting to leave and I don't know, this. I think you're better off just waiting half an hour, you're not getting out of here anytime soon. One way in, one way out. Oh look at that, you don't see many VPs. VPSS. Killer combo on a VN, LS with it. This is a Magnuson, so this would be a 2300 supercharger. Nice big intake, big throttle body. These things make, I think this made about 450 kilowatts at the wheels. In this car, yeah, she'd uh, chalk them pretty easy. How nice is this Chevy? Genuine streetcar here. Runs 8 0 a few weeks ago. Going out for a Sunday casual drive. See you, boys. It's just horsepower lane right here. Barras, LS turbos. XF Falcon. The uh, ugly duckling of the 80s, I think. Hey, this one looks all right. Look, it's an S-Pack. It's got a clean set of yeah, Bud Simmons on it. But they're not done up that often, That's a neat car. I'll tell you one thing with these um, 1980s Falcons, they have the most comfortable seats. You can sit in these things for three days. It's a lounge suite on wheels, yeah. Unlike your MR2, 30 minutes. Let's get no, out of that thing. Get out of that thing. Have a look. Yep. Don't test these door handles. Very original in there. VLs over here. There's a lot of VLs, a lot of Japanese engines up this way. Let's go check them out. Nah, Luke, it's the original Holden RB30. Oh, sorry, I'm, oh, I lie, you were right. And by the way, we sell that original Holden RB30 t-shirt.
JPC sticker on the back window, and that can only mean one thing. She's got a bit of a dirty 30 in there. Has it got a, a has single it got, cam? Has it got Venetians? That is one nice engine bay. Have a look at that. Valo's chop chop in that. Tough decision right here. R34 or the RX7. For me, it's a simple choice. It's the Doritos all day long. That's a good example of having the right wheels on the right car. This seems to me unheard of. Every, every R34 I see out coming out of Sydney's got like a sequential and 2,500 horsepower. This thing looks pretty stock, stock right height, stock wheels. A bit of a boat fest here, a bit of a marina. There's a lot of VN and VPs here. Have a look at this one. This is like a blast from the 90s. You don't see many VPs. No, you don't. I used to have a VP in the same colour. A bit of a dirty mang mang. And I think from memory, Luke, it had some 15 inch mag wheels. Yeah, and it had the um, out of the box leaking uh, power steering pump. Hey, Jordan, look who we've met, Mr. Hollywood himself here. <laughs> Are we boys? <laughs> still, still all the same, the VK? Yeah, 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 just retired now, we're building something a bit more purposeful. Why, why would you change such a good combination though? Yeah, works good on the street, works good everywhere. Yeah. All right, so that's a wrap from this Cars and Coffee event here at Race Parts Melbourne. There were so many cars here today, and look, to be honest, we got a little bit bailed up talking to people, which is great. So apologies if we missed your car. There were so many cars. They were like a kilometer up there past the car wash. The court was packed. Great day out, and hopefully we'll see you at the next one.